ribhu gita chapter 28 ribhu says brahman alone am i consciousness alone am i blemishless am i without interstices i am only of a pure nature i am of the eternal form and the supreme i am of eternal blemishless form i am the embodiment of the eternal awareness i am of the form without beginning or end i am bereft of the duality in the beginning or the end i am of the every happy nature i am one with an ever blissful nature i alone am the foremost liberated i am devoid of cause i am indeed the supreme brahman i alone am indeed i am alone i alone am achieve this disposition always and be happy in the blemishless self abide in joy abide in happiness be happy continuously all the vedas are non different from you imagination is ever not there is never anything called thought force there is never any wheel of transmigration there is nothing ever never the world never is there never is the talk of the world then where is the talk about the body all is brahman just consciousness indeed i alone am there is nothing such as this is the mind nor is there anything as there is mind the certitude about the existence of something the talk of the world being real or false the one who posits the existence of something and such statements the notion that the world has existence the protector of the world apart from one's self the conviction the conviction that i am the body the notion that this one is a chandala outcast the certainty that someone is a great brahman all are non existent hence there is neither the phenomenal world nor the mind stuff nor the intellect there is nothing there is nothing achieve this flawless certitude at once that which is seen is verily not indeed non existent it is not verily not meditate thus i am indeed the supreme brahman i am indeed partless i alone am of this there can be no doubt i am indeed happier than the happiest i am indeed the divine self i am indeed the unitary one i am simply imperceptible to speech i alone am not another i am indeed the self of all i am indeed ever adorable i am indeed the self of imagination i am devoid of thought i am unlimited i am without discontinuity i am indeed purged of brooding i am indeed the sadguru i am indeed the witness ever i alone am indeed i alone am i am neither hidden nor unhidden neither am i the self that shines ever i am neither insentient nor am i just consciousness that is whatever and wherever i am not the vital air nor the insentience that is altogether misapprehension always i am endless bliss i am endless extremely blemishless i am the omniscient self i am the complete bestower of auspiciousness i have none in the least of i am such i have no recollection of i am such i am devoid of all that is before me devoid of every joy and good brahman is beyond the beyond the person is beyond the beyond i am verily beyond the beyond beyond everything and beyond further devoid of all bodies am i bereft of all actions am i i am the peaceful self of all mantras beyond all the inner faculties i am devoid of all invocations i am the illuminator of all gods i am the self devoid of all ablutions i am the one the foremost and without a second i in the sacred center of the self in the sacred waters of the self in the mind overcome by the bliss of the self realizing that i am the self alone i repose and reveal in myself the self alone is the enjoyment for the self the contented the contented self the happy self the self alone is the self of the self the self alone am i the supreme i am the self i am the self that i am i am the self not of the world i am the self of all i am the perpetual self i am the eternal self different from qualities meditate thus regularly meditate always thus for accomplishment the goal is ever attained as simply awareness that is just certitude even that certainty shall subside 
be happy by yourself o lord the innumerable vedas with their diverse branches proclaim you alone the only one variously as vishnu indra brahma yama the god of death agni the fire god vayu the god of air the lord of lord beings and the lord of hosts thus concludes chapter 28 entitled the topic of the self being without characteristics in the sixth amsha called shankara of sri shiva rahasyam om namah shivaya